This is the Low Key Podcast. I do not own the rights to the music that's being played in the future or past podcasts. This is the Low Key Podcast. I do not own the rights to the music that's being played in future or past podcasts. This is episode 24, True to the Power. We could run this city like a Fortune 500 company. I'm a young, black, successful criminal. If you want to be king, you got to be willing to step to the throne and take that jump. Gina, how you doing? How do you know my name? Rollins, right? My dear, he's paid. He's a millionaire. I had my share of drug deal millionaires. And you like him, Gina, don't you? Well, Gina. What's going on? What's going on? You are now tuned into the Low Key Podcast. This is episode 24, True to the Power. I'm basically going to be talking about True to the Game 1 and 2. Basically just my opinion on it. And my wife is going to be joining me and giving her opinion on it. Yes. Um, I'll check this movie out. I heard a couple people telling me about it, telling me to watch it. So I was like, yeah, this got to be straight in. So let me check it out. So I did end up watching it. Actually, this year was my first time watching both of them because I know the first one I think came out like two years ago. But either way, this was my first time watching them. So I checked them out, man. And I got to tell you, I did not enjoy them. I think these was like some straight-ass trash, bro. Because for one, I am just getting off watching Power. And I'm like, so this nigga basically ghost, right? Or is he the nigga on Superfly, the recent Superfly that just came out? Cause I'm like, I mean, you 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 watching a movie like this, and you don't watch your first share of hood movies, man. You don't watch all your first share of hood movies. You know what's gonna happen. You know what's about to happen. But my whole thing is like, so, and I'm gonna be fair. I want to say right now, in the middle, before I go any further, it is gonna be spoilers. I'm man, I am talking straight spoilers. So you ain't seen True to the Game or True to the Game Two. You can go ahead and get out, go check them out, and come back and listen to the podcast. But I am giving away spoilers. But back to what I was saying, I think this shit was straight trash. And I feel like if you don't watch hood movies before, you could guess what everything was going on. And you shouldn't even be able to guess. You knew what was coming. Think about it, man. Looking at this shit like, what the fuck? Cordero, whatever the hell his name is. Uh, Columbus Short character, Cordero, he's a drug dealer. He's basically the biggest drug dealer in town. Then you got Jarrell, the younger crew, you know, the up-and-comers. They want to come in and buy from him, but he don't want to sell to them because, you know, they big and loud in exposure. <laughs> super fly, super fly, the, uh, the white crew. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they basically want to come in and buy from him. He don't want to sell to them. They eat too loud or blah, blah, blah. Oh, just what hap- Just so happens, though, he runs into an old flame. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm tripping. I don't even know if she's an old flame. Either way, one or another, he starts falling in love with the girl. You know, the drug dealer falling in love with the girl, Ghost Angela. <laughs> but anyway, he falls in love with the girl. She done been with her first year drug dealers, of course. You know the premise. I mean, I ain't even got a name, Power or um Superfly for this. This uh, regular hood movies. You know, done seen them hood movies before. Anyway, this and then the third, basically, and. When he don't want to give drugs to Jarrell and them, do I even have to keep going? You know the up-and-comers. When the big drug dealer don't want to give or sell to the up-and-comers, you know what's going on, man. But my thing with this shit is, when you get basically about to the end of the first two to the game, the shit go off like a fucking series finale. And I'm like, what's going on? So that's it. I mean, it's already bad enough. I guess what was going to happen, and it happened. But I can't even finish the movie. I got to wait. It's one thing if this shit was a show, but it wasn't a show. And my thing is, why not make this shit a show? And I'm sitting there like, so this is what we doing. Luckily for me, though, I can go watch straight, go to straight to uh, true to the game, too. And I'm sorry for the way I sound. It's just like this bullshit ass movie. But anyway, 
I went straight to chew the game too after I watched that one. I'm like, shit, I don't went through all this bullshit. I may as well see what's going on. And I'm gonna tell you right now, before I even get finished with talking about chew to the game too, I already knew what was coming. I already knew what was gonna happen at the end. I thought it was coming maybe in a little bit in the middle, but either way, I knew what was coming. And y'all already knew know what I'm talking about if you don't already watch True to the Game 2. You know what I'm talking about, man. But anyway, <laughs> this shit's stupid. <laughs> we back on uh, True to the Game 2. Um, I guess I ain't get too many spoils away in the first one. Either way, the nigga basically, he trying to get out of the game, I think. I just got bored throughout the shit because I knew what was going on with the shit. Because he go to me, his little um, connection over the board or whatnot, Cordero. I mean, I hope I ain't getting y'all confused. Either way, if you want to go check this shit out, true to the game and true to the game too, you can go check this shit out. But I'm going to get more into true to the game too. I feel like I said what I had to say about the first one. I'm going to get more into that one. I'm going to let my wife talk a little bit about her opinion as far as the first one. And if she want to talk about the second one too, if she wants to. Um, my opinion on part, I didn't really like neither one of them. Um, cause I guessed everything throughout the whole movie and I don't like to do that. At the end, I was lost and I, I definitely don't like how they began movie two, but I ain't going to talk about movie two right now. Um, <clears throat> I, I know, um, that it was a book. I read books. I watch movies. And they, they try to get them pretty similar, but I felt, I felt like it felt thrown together. Like it was rushed, not like it was something that was done with time or had time to prepare because I think his name is Jarrell. His acting was kind of good. It's just like the movie and settings in the movie threw it off or how they had the strip script wrote, um, and Quartier, he had some good sh- scripts, too. I felt as though, um, I think her name was Gina. I felt as though in some scenes she was kind of forcing it. Like like I said, I felt as though the movie was more rushed and it needed a little bit more time to be, I guess, made or created. Um, I don't want to necessarily say directing was off. The script was just kind of off and it could have been better. And I felt like they needed a needed more time like more time and they they could have done a whole lot more with the whole thing they could have made it a series from the ending um they could have made it a whole a good a decent movie with part one and two that way they didn't even need a part two um and i felt like it was rushed i felt like part one was ended the way it was so that they would have a reason to make a part two um and that's pretty much my opinion on part one. And I'm going to let my husband tell you his opinion on part two. And if you hear a bunch of us from me or her, excuse me, and excuse her. I'm sorry about that. Like I said, we just working on what we're doing as far as the podcast thing, especially me and doing what we're doing. And this is still a beginning stages of what we're trying to do and what we're trying to build. So excuse us if we sound very unprofessional, but like I said, this is the beginning stages of something we're trying to build. But anyway, back to this whole reaction and review and recap. Now I'm going in true to the game too. As far as true to the game one, and I already said spoilers, the nigga Cordero got shot at the end. At the end. He got shot by his the arch enemy villain <laughs> on some Thanos shit. Jarrell came through and shut this nigga down. He had all the Infinity Stones and he wiped the niggas out. That was it. Boom. <laughs> anyway we're going to two to the game too and this is called gina story this is old girl she basically in new york doing her thing her career doing making her moves or whatnot and it's another character i didn't name in the first one which is suge but like i said i just enjoyed i didn't enjoy the movie and to be honest vivica a. fox character wasn't even in the first one like that honestly she wasn't in it in the second part she in it she doing a couple things she help a Helping somebody out that um, got an addictive boyfriend as far as a drug deal or a drug addict, some shit like that. Whatever, man. I'm more f- focused on um, Jarrell, and that's the arch villain. The nigga came back in part two, and he started killing off uh, Quadera's old partners, making them famous. That's his old shit. Like, 
uh, when he kill a motherfucker, I'm going to make you famous. That's his whole thing. Cool. You real scary and intimidating, that nigga with the beard. But anyway, we start getting into him and what he got going on because he's the new dude now, I guess, since Cordero is out of the game, quote unquote. <laughs> but anyway, we got Gina and what she doing, and I guess she come back for some shit or something, man. Like I said, y'all can watch the movie, man. Because like I said, this shit got boring, man, because I knew what was coming. I'm telling you, I already knew what was coming. I was just waiting on it. But you got a bunch of cameos from a bunch of rappers, a bunch of IG models and all that shit. You got a bunch of people that's in it randomly that's getting shot and they die and that's, get, that's gone. Um, you got Little Mama and she got a, I guess she got a main role in it with her and the old boy Jeremy Minks. His name is Celine. Uh... I don't know Little Mama character name. I don't know if she even had a name, to be honest. I'm telling you straight up. Some of these people didn't have no names in this movie. They were just shot and gone, or they came in and made a comment or said something, and they was gone. That was it. You ain't even remember half of the people. Uh, Alea, that's Little Mama name in the movie, Alea, as far as part two of True to the Game. But anyway, when we get through with all that, Gina comes back. That's Cordero's girlfriend that he was with before he got shot, quote unquote. Jarrell is looking for her because he's looking for some money he thinks she got. This and that and the third. They do what they do. Gina ends up running to, to Jarrell and he manipulate her. And she don't know this, um, the person that shot Cordero. I don't know how because the nigga got shot in a fucking casino. I think they was coming out with a bunch of lights that was out there. And she was looking directly in that direction. But I guess he didn't see and he got shot, blah, 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 whatever. Long story short, Jarrell starts to figure out that I guess Gina's figuring out that he was the person, I guess, blah, blah, blah. Jarrell ends up starting to hit Gina, knocking her out. Guess who pops up at the goddamn end of the movie? Quad there. This nigga's alive. Guess what? He's alive. He comes in like goddamn ghost off power. Coming in, big bad. I'm guessing. I'm like, okay, at least this nigga's he about to go in then. He been out the movie for a minute. I knew he was coming. I'm just letting you know now. I knew this nigga was alive. I knew he was coming. Anyway, he comes in. Guess what? He getting his ass whooped. This nigga, he shot you. You come back. Big bad man, come back after you done got shot. He whooped in your ass still. You got a gun, but he whooped your ass. Why he done hit your girl, knocked your girl out, and he's still whooping this man's ass. Long story short, they go through their struggle, blah, 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 blah. He ends up winning at the end and shooting Jarrell, I guess. Like I said, this shit spoilers, because I don't want you to waste your time watching the bullshit. Oh, yeah, we got side stories. Little Mama is into it with the whole Jeremy Mix character, Salim. I he trying to manipulate her and he trying to, I guess, kill her. I guess she shoots him, but we don't know what happens from them. We don't know their storyline because, because what you already know, this is the series finale. We got to wait for part three. I'm sorry, man. I was talking a lot. This shit pissed me off. I will let my wife get on here and talk her opinion as far as part two. Part two, I definitely did not like at all. No way, shape, or form. I hated how it started off. I hated the middle, the ending. I kind of, I kind of felt the ending, but I felt like that would have came in in the middle. I hated the fact that they had this at the beginning. The whole beginning of the movie was a memorial, a funeral service for this man. But I figured he was coming back because we didn't even see no casket. But I'm not going to go into all that. Um, and Gina, Gina came back. She came back for her. I'm not necessarily sure. I think her sister was in trouble or something. And she came back. But I would have came back and dipped. Like, I wouldn't have came back and got involved with nobody. You already know what's going on. And... Like my husband said, you seen this man get shot. You was like went through a whole depression stage. You know who killed him, and you gonna you. I guess you didn't. I just that part right there threw me, and after that part, I kind of I didn't watch no more like that to about the end when he was about to kill her. And that's my opinion on part two. I I don't like it. Didn't like it. Don't like it, and won't watch it again. Yeah, so <laughs> it just it was just too much as far as being able to predict everything that was gonna happen. 
and that was with both movies. That's my whole thing with it, is it being so predictable. It's like, okay, so you're going to do all these different movies. Why not just make it a series, man? Even if it's predictable, just make it a series. But I'm guessing they didn't feel like they had enough story to make a whole series. But with all the shit y'all got going on in part two, hell, if y'all don't got a series, y'all got all these different storylines that's going on. And I'm still confused on, like, why the fuck are y'all ending the shit like this? Like, it's good movies out here that end this way. I don't seen good movies that end a certain way, and it's like, damn, but what happened? But what's going on? But you ain't supposed... I wish I could explain more into those type of movies, but they better movies. And when I get a chance, I'll name some of those movies so you can watch them and you'll understand what I'm saying. Because the way these shits is going off is straight like a series finale. Like, it's straight up on some power shit. Like I said, like, it don't make sense. Like, why not just make the shit a series? And going into how you have to understand Cordero's whole redemption and him coming back, it's like, what the fucking how, nigga? How? <laughs> you were shot blankly and it showed everything. And y'all had a service for this nigga. It ain't no way you telling me y'all had a service for this motherfucker and he had nobody in there. It ain't like you couldn't have an open casket. So what was going on? What was that? <laughs> or is this nigga got a twin brother? Don't tell me we're going to go to part three and it's like, oh, this is twin brother. Man, y'all kidding me with that shit because I'm going to be honest. I'm going to watch part three just so I can talk shit because y'all done put me through this shit and I had to waste my time and watch it. So I may as well, may as well go on ahead and go on with the full ride because they obviously doing a part three because they saying it's books or some bullshit. But I'm trying to figure out now, is the books as bad as these movies? Because you can't be telling me y'all making stories like this. Because this shit is predictable as hell. And it's just that good. It can't be that good if you can tell what's going to happen unless y'all like movies like that where you can tell everything is coming. I don't like no movie like that. I want to be surprised. Straight up. And shout out to Tyler Perry. Because I don't like a lot of them movies, but at least got them. I'm like, oh, shit. That's such and such. Oh, she was messing. Oh, at least I'm like that with them. <laughs> they got some silly, silly ass villains. What I'm saying though, with this shit, it's like, man, y'all, y'all can kill all this. I don't want to see. I can't say I don't want to see no more because I am gonna watch part three. So <laughs> this shit just got me off, man. But I just wanted to talk about some of this bad movies that I've been recommended to. And that's one of the reasons I don't stop watching some of them hood movies because, man, them shits is predictable. You will know what's coming. I don't watch The Wire. I don't watch good hood shows. I'm watching Snowfall now. I'm like, man, this shit, like, this is embarrassing. I don't want to watch this. <laughs> Y'all could have done a lot better with this, man. Y'all could have done a lot better. And I think maybe if you would have sit down and took the time to th think this out, maybe this could have been a series. Honestly, this could have been a series. Even if it was predictable, I think it would have been a lot better as a series. But me and my wife just basically wanted to get into a little bit of details as far as truth to the game and maybe even help some people from not watching this so you won't be disappointed if you enjoy movies the way we do. But maybe some people actually enjoy this because, this, like I said, this is our opinion and this is my opinion. I'm not saying this is the most horrible movie in the world because I don't seen a lot worse so but I'm just saying, man, you got to end it like that. And it's so predictable. You're going to end it like that. But this was episode 24 of the Low Key Podcast. True to the power. I make you like me too. All I do know is I'm not going to be doing this for the rest of my life. You can't be a father or a husband with a life like this. Bro, I'm going to have to give you that. Ain't you allowed to have multiple wives? I'm married to a gangster, and you're dating one. Man, you're the boss. I get it. You're trying to be a boss.